Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this fun repeating geometric pattern. If you would like the design files for this tutorial, uh, be sure to check out my Patreon page where I upload all of the uh, design files for um, all of my tutorials here on YouTube. If you'd like to uh, support this channel, go ahead and check that out and I will leave a link to uh, my Patreon page in the description below. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a new document. I'm going to click on New File. For this, I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color. Background content set to transparent. And then just click on Create. Uh, for this, I'm going to use the Ellipse Shape Tool. To access the Shape Tool, you're going to click on the keyboard shortcut U, and then if you want to toggle between the different ones, you're going to go Shift U. So in this case, I have it selected. You can, you can also right click and select between the different shape tools here. We have our ellipse tool. And then I'm just going to click on the canvas, and then we are going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels uh, by 1200 pixels, clicking on OK. So throughout this tutorial, I'm going to use my uh, Photoshop actions for pattern design. If you join me in Patreon, you'll be able to get access to these actions, or I will leave a link in the description to where you can uh, purchase them from my Etsy shop. So let's go ahead and center this object using the action. And then uh, with the shape tool still selected, I'm going to go up to the properties here. I'm going to turn off the fill, and then I'm going to add a black stroke. I'm going to uh, change the stroke width to uh, 40 pixels. And then under the uh, stroke options here, I'm going to change the align to the inside. That way it stays within the bounds of our canvas here. Uh, with this object, I'm going to go ahead and convert it to a smart object. To do that, you can go right click, convert to smart object. I also have an action for that where I can just click the button and it's converted to a smart object. From here, we are going to uh, duplicate it. I want it duplicated in all the four corners. And for that, I'm going to use my action four corners here, and it will just create a duplicate in all of the four corners. And then I'm going to go ahead and define this pattern. To do that, you're going to go to Edit, Define Pattern. I also have a button for that, so I'll just go ahead and click on Define Pattern here. Bringing up my Patterns panel, you can see the highlighted uh, blue pattern. This is our most recently saved pattern here. If you do not see your patterns panel, you can go to Windows and select Patterns. From here, we are going to uh, test this pattern. So let's go ahead and open up a new file. So let's go File, New. This time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, which is 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, and then I'm going to leave everything the same. Uh, for this one, I'm going to select artboards um, because we're going to create more than one pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. From here, I'm going to use one of my actions for pattern test. It just quickly brings up a color fill layer with a pattern fill layer, and then we have our background color fill layer here. So selecting my pattern fill layer here, I'm going to select my newly created pattern. And we can see that we have a fun seamless pattern here. Let's go ahead and click on this pattern fill layer. Uh, when this dialog box is open, you can scale it. So let's scale it down a little bit. Let's try 75% here. And then uh, when the dialog box is open, you can always rearrange it on your canvas if you want to align it differently. Uh, to get back to the original, just click on Snap to Origin, and then we'll go ahead and click on OK. Uh, with these color fill layers, let's go ahead and pick a new color. So I'm just going to select one of my colors here in my swatches. We'll go with blue, and then for this color fill layer, you can click on the color, and you can select a color this way. I'm going to use white, so we're going to go FFF, and then just clicking on OK. And then from here, I'm just going to click on this pattern fill layer, and I want to make it a two-tone. So I'm just going to bring down the opacity and then just bring it to 50% here, clicking on uh, OK. And then we have a two-tone pattern here. 
let's go ahead and jump back into our original document here. And so originally we made these as smart objects. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in to my smart object here. I'm gonna make a duplicate of this original. So I'm gonna go Command or Control J. Just gonna turn off that original there. Uh, with this layer selected, I'm gonna go ahead and scale it down. Uh, to scale down an object, you're going to go Command or Control T, and then you can enter the scale values here. I'm going to exit out of that because I have an action for that where you can easily uh, scale down 10%. So I'm just going to click on that action, and it's going to bring it uh, smaller down 10%. So let's go ahead and save this. We're going to go Command or Control S, and then let's exit out Command or Control W. And now we have a new repeating pattern here. So let's go ahead and define that pattern again. I'm going to click on my action. I see my new pattern here in my patterns panel. We'll jump back over into our document here. I'm going to create a, another artboard for this. So I'm going to zoom out command or control minus. We'll just bring it over to the side here. Selecting this artboard, I'm just going to give it a name, one pattern. And then we're going to access the artboard tool. So I'm going to go shift V and then we'll click shift V again. And then we notice our artboard tool here, right click. The artboard tool is under the move tool. With the artboard tool selected, you'll see these uh, plus icons. If you click on a plus icon, it will automatically create a new artboard. Let's go ahead and undo that command or control Z. With this artboard selected, I'm going to make a duplicate of this artboard. So I'm going to go Option Click and Drag for PC that is Alt Click. So clicking those buttons here and then just dragging it to the side, I have a duplicate of this artboard. Let's go ahead and give it a name to pattern. And then I'm going to rearrange it in my layers panel here, bringing it to the top. And then we'll scroll to our pattern here and we will access our patterns menu again, and then we'll select our new pattern there. Uh, let's just go ahead and give it a, another color so we can see the difference here. And we have a new uh, repeating pattern here just by changing uh, the scale. And, uh, to save this as a digital scrapbook paper, you're gonna go to File, Export, Export As. Here on the side, you'll notice our two artboards. We have the name of the artboard. So if you want to um, name your files with a specific uh, naming structure, I recommend changing the name of your artboards. So for me, I typically use my brand name. So I'll do the number one and then uh, Lemon Paper Lab. And then under suffix, you can add additional data. So if I wanted to add a dash and then just say geometric, you can add a, an additional label to your artboard name when it goes to save it. So let's go ahead and select both of these um, layers here. And then under file settings, you can hit the drop down arrow and select your file type. Uh, typically for digital scrapbook paper, you'll see it saved as JPEG. So we'll select that there. And then under quality, you want high quality. So you can uh, choose to change out the quality here. Uh, just note that the higher the quality, uh, the larger the file size. Scrolling down here under color space, I like to click embed color profile, and then you can just click to export your file. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this fun repeating geometric pattern. Again, if you want access to all the design files for my tutorials, then you can join me over on Patreon. I will leave a link to it in the description below. Thank you for the support. It helps me to keep making these tutorials. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.